when you look at him now, what do you think? I look at his roles and it just makes me happy. Home for the Holidays has an extra special ring for a Bixby family. They spent most of this year in Hillcrest's neonatal intensive care unit when their son was born at just 22 weeks. It was a birth doctors tell us just a few years ago would not have been possible. Tonight, in an exclusive you'll see only on two, anchor Julie Chin has the positively Oklahoma story of Kai's Christmas homecoming. <gasps> Turn the page. Oh, good job. Baby snuggles on the sofa are a Christmas wish come true for the Holden family. It's just a really special Christmas with everything we've been through this year. This past year, life took them on a journey they never saw coming. They met a team of medical professionals they now consider family and had a baby many call a miracle. Honestly, it was, it was, it was God's doing. <gasps> We're not going on a bear hunt again. Their story begins last Christmas when this family of three learned they'd be adding one more come June. It was a completely like healthy pregnancy, nothing um, out of the ordinary was going on. But in late January, I went to go um, get checked up at the doctor and they had told me that my um, amniotic sac had ruptured and then they put me in an ambulance and sent me to Hillcrest. At just 21 weeks along, Brady was put on bed rest where she'd stay for another week. She then met Dr. Stephanie Carner, the medical director of the NICU here for a tough conversation. I asked her if many 22 week babies go home and she said some do, but many do not. Just days later, the Holden's micro preemie was born. He was born at 22 weeks and five days gestation. So that was February 5th. It's definitely um, the youngest gestation that I have had successfully graduate from the NICU. We have had several born at 22 weeks, but the vast majority of them have passed away, unfortunately. The tiny one pound, seven ounce baby boy named Kai was a fighter. He was very critical, still very, um, Gosh, he was just so small, but he was so cute from the very beginning. <laughs> With a long road ahead, the NICU became the family's home away from home. There was a lot of sleepless nights spent next to his bedside and managing his ventilator. It doesn't matter how many days you're in the NICU. Um, when you first have to walk out of the hospital without your baby and leave them in the care of someone else, that's really, really difficult. The staff quickly covered the family in love. I always really focused in on Brady because she was so anxious all the time. We didn't meet Hillcrest under the best circumstances, but we, we grew so close with them. Days turned into weeks, then into months. We were largely in territory we really hadn't been in before. Um, he was an exception to everything that we had known and everything that we had treated, everything that I had done as a physician, everything that the nurses have ever cared for. And this team not only cared for Kai, they also marked each milestone, creating Valentine's, Mother's Day cards, and even throwing a baby shower. It was our whole yeah. unit that loved him and that cared for him and giving him that baby shower was like icing on the cake. It was just a celebration of look how far he's come and um, it was really special to us. The staff tells me Kai is believed to have the longest day out of any baby in Hillcrest NICU. And after 213 days, that's more than seven months, the Holdens were finally able to bring Kai home. And one of the amazing things about Kai is that he didn't just survive. In many ways, he's thriving. And in many ways, he missed most of those risks that come with being born at 22 weeks. And so he truly is a miracle because of how well he's doing now. Do you want to see your brother? Kai is now 10 months old and a healthy 15 pounds. While he still relies on oxygen, everyone is hopeful that won't be the case forever. When you look at him now, what do you think? I look at his roles and it just makes me happy. They say it takes a village to raise a family and the Holdens are grateful for theirs. We've witnessed people go above and beyond for us and um, I'm just so thankful for that. And as this family looks back on all that's happened since last Christmas, they know that this Christmas, the best gift has already arrived. And God's been very faithful to, to bring us through it and we're, we're very blessed.
And while Kai has graduated from Dr. Carner's NICU care, she still keeps tabs on him. The Holdens tell us Dr. Carner's sister is now Kai's pediatrician.